violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Tonight, we're hearing from a woman who says she and her dog were attacked in a Brooklyn park. And she called. Then days later, her dog died. She tells CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis how it changed her perspective on safety in the city. Her heartbreaking story is new tonight. My world is shattered. My dog was my world. Devin Damn, the interviewer here called too. Devastated dog mom Jessica didn't want to face cameras as she described her unexpected last days with her beloved two and a half year old adopted pup, Moose. Because it's one thing when your dog dies when they're old and you can make peace with that, but he was not. We had so much more time. Jessica says the pair were on their usual morning stroll through Prospect Park near the picnic house when they came across a man she sees often in the park but has never spoken to. Mm. He was rifling through garbage. She and Moose were across the way waiting to cross the bike path. He began to spray us with what I later learned was urine. He wow, that is disgusting. We got another Frank of Brockwa. A pissy cuz instead of shitty cuz. Man. <clears throat> These homeless dudes are out doing themselves in every city. He chased us with what is um, a very long pole slash stick uh, that's wooden mm. that um, he carries recycling on and just was swinging it wildly at us. He was muttering about immigrants taking over the park. Wow. As she tried to escape up the stairs, she says he hit her in the back and moose across the face. He also apparently hit him on the side that later perforated one of his intestines and he went septic. Moose didn't make it through his second emergency surgery Sunday, leaving Jessica heartbroken and for the first time as a city resident, concerned about safety. Wow. It took her dog getting killed for her to be concerned about safety. You know, honestly, we all know that this is a glider um, liberal woman. We don't really hold much sympathy for those, even though um, it's sad that the dog was killed. She's lucky to have gotten out of that situation alive. So she needs to count her blessings. And she also needs to stop living in her bubble and um, actually raise some concerns politically because we know the white tears can be weaponized. She needs to, you know, use those <laughs> and make sure that there come some order in the city of new york because at this point it's i mean it's complete chaos and i've never felt unsafe until now there should be a cop car in the parking lot 24 hours until they get him <laughs> and you probably need it um even longer than that but I guarantee she was she was chanting defund the police when that George Floyd stuff got. I guarantee. I just want I want justice for my dog and I want people to be safe. There have not yet been any arrests in this case, but the NYPD says the animal cruelty squad is investigating. In Prospect Park, Brooklyn, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. And the Parks Department says its officers patrol Prospect Park daily and work closely with the NYPD. We are told a homeless encampment was cleared out today with a task force cleanup, but it is not clear if that encampment has anything to do with the suspect in this case. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness so make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button like the video hell share the video and make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets i'm jen quavius jackson here live reporting from atlanta georgia bgzm news 17.
Tonight, this video showing people in the Bronx hurling glass bottles at NYPD officers mm. is catching the attention of police unions. Union leaders say it is just an example. She called of the dangerous situations officers are facing on the streets every day. News Force Mark Santia has more on what the NYPD commissioner is saying about that video. And those bottles are deadly weapons. They should have aired the block out. Just like these super gremlins do, they should have aired the block out. Straight up, bro. Straight up. I don't want to hear none of that police brutality stuff. You seeing what they're doing. These super gremlins are on demon time. Fists and bottles fly in the Bronx. Video of NYPD officers trying to disperse a large disorderly crowd on Sunday now going viral, tweeted by the NYPD Detectives Union, which says, quote, the city is in crisis and the governor, legislature and many DAs are missing in action. Paul DiGiacomo is president of the union. The criminal element is involved and empowered. Uh, because of the laws that have been enacted by the city council. Yep. No cash bail. And the people in Albany. The chaos at the corner of 168th Street and Sheridan Avenue. You seen that? You seen that, right? Poo shiesty mask, poo shiesty mask, poo shiesty mask. And Sheridan Avenue, which DiGiacomo says is caused by a lack of accountability for crimes, now has more than 350,000 views online. How much more carnage does it have to be before our politicians wake up? And Among those revolted by the scene, which included glass bottles thrown at cops trying to make an arrest, is the police commissioner. And you see, they don't want order. They don't want order. They want chaos. This is what the politicians want. They fueled the, the BLM situation, even though we found out that that was a scam. They fueled the um, uh, the defunding the police and criminal justice reform. We need a new crime bill. Joe Biden can't read or write, so he can't write it. So who's going to write it? Draw it up. Kamala, <laughs> if there's one thing that you can do, because we know how strict she was as a um, DA, right? or a state's attorney, whatever she was, if there's one thing you could do is write that damn crime bill ASAP. ...by the scene, which included glass bottles thrown at cops trying to make an arrest, is the police commissioner. To think that people would think it's acceptable to throw anything at a police officer is outrageous. Um, this is the communita. Duh. <laughs> It's like they're, they're it's like they've been under a rock for their whole lives. The police commissioner saying today this behavior will not be tolerated. We will do everything we can to bring those responsible to held account to be held account. Mark Santia, News for New York. And late this afternoon, the NYPD released new video and images of some of the people they're looking for in connection with this attack. They say seven men between the ages of 20 and 25 years old were involved. If you recognize anyone here, Police are asking you to call Crime Stoppers.